there's a strong chain reaction in the sun and a powerful magnetic storm will cover the entire planet on March. And the latest on space weather tells us mid-latitude auroras, 1 and perhaps 2 CMEs hit Earth's magnetic field on February 28th and 27th, sparking a series of strong G3-class geomagnetic storms. Auroras descended to unusually low latitudes, including Albany, New York, and Missouri, Fort Collins, Colorado, West Oak, Nebraska, and La Grande, Oregon. So apparently, you don't have to live inside the Arctic Circle to see auroras, although it's better if you do. But these auroras came down that low. Now concerning the activity of the sun, in the past days, magnetic storms have literally gone berserk, attacking the Earth with very powerful bursts of flares and uh, impacts geo geomagnetic storms. On Friday, February 24th, another flare occurred on the Sun, the source of which was spot AR 3236. And text tweeted, Activity in the Sun's Southern Hemisphere, the sunspot emerging in the Sun's Southern Hemisphere, AR 3236, is crackling with flares, and uh, during the early hours of February 24th, throwing a cloud of dark plasma, into space. A few hours later, the same thing happened. This time the source was AR 3229. A chain reaction in the sun, a magnetic filament connected to sunspot AR 3229, erupted on February 24th, producing a chain reaction of events. In the past, on February 27, the magnetosphere was attacked by the most powerful geostrikes in the whole winter, the strength of which reached a critical level of seven points, and thoughts about suspicions of magnetic storms reaching shocking levels in March only strengthened. As spaceweather.com writes, the two strong flashes in a row and in relative proximity give rise to a burst of protons with an energy of more than 10 MeV, which is somewhat unusual, and we're talking about some kind of a chain reaction. How unusual this can be understood from the uh, situation in March of last year when after the giant CME there was a uh, picture. The scientists write in anticipation of the microns for years and while observing the readings of NOAA, GOA-16, they have never seen anything like this. Given the obvious discrepancy between the huge energy of protons and previous events, one should think about the upcoming CME against which many X-class flares will seem like an amusement hall. Something is happening inside our star. After the impending Big Bang, wherever it is directed, there will be a strong, uh, it could be, there could be uh, something happening like earthquakes on Earth, and it can even blow away atmosphere at while, a little while in the tropics. Beachgoers will get a painful tan powerful tan without even taking off their clothes. Now, could this have anything to do with bigger quakes coming? Seismologists warn that another strong earthquake will hit the Middle East in the first week of March. Dutch researcher Frank Hugerbeets, who with his controversial method has predicted the devastating 7.8 uh, magnitude uh, earthquake in the Turkish south, also announced that he expects another big earthquake in the Middle East in the first week of March. Hukerby states a convergence of critical planetary geometry, that's because we have alignments going on, around March 2nd and 5th could lead to a large to very large seismic activity, possibly even a large thrust earthquake around March 3rd to 4th or March 6th to 7th. The first week of March will be very critical, he says. It could be 7 and up, up, up but well over 8. So we'll see what happens. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I'll also leave a link for you for the um, space weather link. Thank you for your support and please leave your comments. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.